Okay, so we're back. We did a lot of projects today. We did the garage floor. We did the uh, concrete apron of the driveway, sidewalk work, siding work, the patio deck, the patio furniture, the windows, uh, the eaves of the house. The list goes on and on and on. Really, when you get a pressure washer and you start power washing stuff, it's really addicting. You don't want to stop. And really, I ran out of gas like maybe twice. So what I'm going to do is talk you through just the, the attachments real quick, just my final thoughts and give you some advice. When you're looking at a pressure washer, maybe you're a first time homeowner, maybe you're the first time getting a pressure washer, this video will be directly for you. We get a lot of questions from customers wanting to know what's the difference between having a surface cleaner and a power broom. So you're going to find very quickly that horizontal surfaces take you a long time to accomplish. That's where a surface cleaner comes into play. That's either one of these circular surface cleaners or a power broom that has spray nozzles on the back end. Both are great for different applications. I found that the surface cleaner does a better job on a wood stained deck. It just cuts through all of that gunk faster and gives you a nice pattern. The power broom does a much better job over the surface cleaner because it pushes all that dirt and grime out faster. And that was really useful on my garage cement floor, also on the driveway and walkways. So I recommend that for that application. For a garage, driveway, sidewalks, things that you're just trying to get clean real quick, use the power broom. It's much easier. Anybody can use this. If you're gonna do deck staining, painting concrete, staining concrete, whether that's your basement or garage, I would recommend a surface cleaner to get deeper clean. Again, the power broom is to get the surface cleaned quickly and efficiently. The surface cleaner is gonna be more deeper clean and I'm gonna show you the difference. So I just got done trying both the power washer with the surface cleaner and the power broom with a garage concrete surface. So basically we did half of the garage floor here. You can see how quickly and powerful the tri cleaner is to get all that gunk and build up all that mud, salt, dirt, all that stuff embedded out of the concrete real quick out of here. What I really liked about the power broom, it was easy to get all the water and debris out. When you're using the surface cleaner, you are getting a deeper clean, but you have to be a little bit more meticulous, a little bit more slower with that process to make sure you're even and then afterwards you got to get all that water out. So for a quick clean, again, very convenient to use a power broom, but if I was going to use an epoxy, let's say on this concrete, I would definitely probably want to go with the surface cleaner. Again, it's a little bit longer, more deeper clean. Power broom, fast, efficient, powerful. Basically, we did half of the garage floor here. You can see how quickly and powerful the tri cleaner is to get all that gunk and build up all that uh, mud, salt, dirt, all that stuff embedded out of the concrete real quick out of here. This is a couple things that I learned using this. You want to use it like a vacuum cleaner and kind of go section by section and work your way up as opposed to just going all the way down, walking all the way back and walking back and forth. So just use it as a, as a vacuum cleaner. I did try using the other tip to get more power out of these two. What I liked about that is getting a tough spot out. But what I didn't like about that is that it left a little streak. So I recommend just keeping all those in so you get less streaks. It's less noticeable that you had a power washer going through. It's not gonna get out everything. I think if you have some tar that's built up over years, 30 years worth of grease stains, it's not gonna get that. So don't expect it to be you know, perfectly brand new when you're done, but you can see how much garbage was built up on the top is clean now, as opposed to this side with all that gunk still resting on the floor. I do a lot of work in my garage. I'm on my back. When I'm done with a project, 
working on the car, changing the oil, whatever, this is what's ending up on my clothes, as opposed to having a nice clean floor. Now I can work on the car, I don't have to worry about getting all dirty. So if you have any more questions about what the difference might be is for your specific application, feel free to give us a call anytime. You can talk to James at PowerEquipmentDirect.com. So we hope you got a lot of value out of this video. We hope that you subscribe to our channel. If you wanna get first notification, hit the bell. Also, we have an email sign up on our site at PowerEquipmentDirect.com. That will give you even more buyer guides, advice, and you can go to that site to look up your everything from your owner's manual to any of the tools that we've shown you here. Thanks for watching.